Greetings, Earthlings. So, I am back and I've been away for quite some time. It's been almost two years, over a year, I'm not quite sure. Um, I do want to give a little bit of an update for everyone. And um, one of those updates is that I think the last time I was um, filming, I was talking about my dog, Dexter. And there's just been so many crazy things that has happened to me in the past two years since I've been away from YouTube, good things, bad things. So uh, I just wasn't in, in the time or the place I feel to um, the right time and the right place to film or to record anything. So I feel like now I have a little bit of a different mindset than I did years ago. I feel like... Um, I'm just a different person in so many places and Dexter has helped me to get to that point. So yeah, I've been away for two years and doing lots of different things and just trying to survive <laughs> and uh, unfortunately uh, Dexter passed away uh, last year and um, it's probably one of the most difficult things that has ever happened to me and um you know I feel like we all go through different trials and tribulations in life but I think that was one of the things that has ever affected me the most and um he passed away in September and um he passed away of lymphoma cancer which is a very common type of cancer that uh, Rottweilers do get or not necessarily that type of cancer, but they're just prone to cancer. And um, he taught me so much. He's brought me so many people, so many people back into my life. He's left me with just a strength that I never knew that I had. He was literally my best friend. He still is my best friend. I I have a tattoo of him on my foot, so we can always walk together. And he changed my life. And um, it's hard to talk about without getting emotional, but he he was such a big part of my life for so long. Um, it it was you know only like a year and a half, almost two years with him, but you know he I, I seen him every single day it was something that he meant so much to me. It was such a an occurrence. He was such an occurrence in my life. We spent every day together and um, I just am so thankful for the opportunity to have had a best friend like him and um, that's one thing that's been going on with me which is one reason why I couldn't really get into YouTube. It was just pff, crazy for me. It was literally just like I couldn't do anything. Um, so now that I'm getting over everything and you know it still hurts. It's still very hard to talk about. Um, I do feel a little bit better and it's, some time has passed and I'm always going to hurt and it's always going to be hard and you know just it, don't take anything for granted and don't um I just appreciate who you have loved ones not even just your pets but just appreciate who's in your life and um life is too short to go around being negative or to just have so much hatred or to be unkind to others and just take care of yourself take care of the people around you take care of your animals and um, just just go through life with a more positive outlook. That's the only thing I can say that I've learned from that lesson. And um, you know, it's just it's 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 a bittersweet thing to lose a friend, um, to lose a pet. You know, you have relationships with people. You get angry. You get into arguments. You get into fights. Your pets, they can't talk to you, but you see them every day and you show them unconditional love and yet they do things that may not necessarily be like you, the, you're the most happiest about them, whether they have an accident in the house or they chew up your favorite pair of shoes. You know, you forgive them and they love you unconditionally. You see them every day. They can't speak, so you never really have arguments with them. The type of love that you have for them is completely different. So, um... You know, just cherish all of those around you and and just really, really, really um, be grateful for the things that you do have. And enough with all the serious talk. I'm going to leave that in that there. And um, 
another thing that I had a big life update is that I got Invisalign and I'm really really excited. I'm almost done with my treatment so far. I'm on my refinement phase so if you're not, fam if you're not familiar with Invisalign, it is a um, braces uh, straightening like with braces but they're clear. They're different sets of aligners and you use them. Uh, you wear them every single day and each time we change them every two weeks they're tighter and tighter and tighter. So my teeth has always been something that's been bothering uh, me for my whole entire life basically. I never liked my teeth. I wasn't happy with them. Uh, I noticed that I just didn't smile in pictures. It didn't smile at all and that was one of the reasons, one of the many not so important reasons but I just wasn't I didn't smile and I, and now I feel like that I have an Invisalign like I'm I really can reflect how I feel on the inside on the outside and um um it's just something that I've always wanted to do and I'm so proud to smile now and be a little bit more confident with my teeth and speaking and being on camera and so I'm um, almost done with my treatment in the refinement phase, I've been wearing them for over a year, no, a year. I've been wearing them for a year. So, um, that's one big update, um, for me, at least. So, yeah, that is, uh, I have a ring light now, and if you can see the shadow in the back next to my grandma. But that is one reason that I wasn't filming too, was because I just didn't feel like the quality of the videos was that great. And I don't know, maybe I'm just like a perfectionist, but I don't think that, like, I just don't like doing things that are up like a poor quality. I just want things to be like perfect all the time, which I guess is a good and a bad thing. But I hope that now with me being a little bit older and having more of like I have my new camera, I have my ring light, I have this whole new mentality. I'm like, you know, it's just, just a different point in my life and I'm really hoping that I could keep producing videos and YouTube and I've been really involved with art. I've been, you know, pursuing my art a lot more. I've been drawing. I, I don't know if I've really talked about that too much on my channel, but drawing is like something that's very dear to my heart, something that I always love to do. Before I started makeup, before I was a makeup artist, I used to draw um, when I was really small. So it's, it's, it's the same thing. Art, art and drawing is, <clears throat> it's makeup, but on paper. <laughs> so, I'm, it, you know what I mean. I, I'm just really, really excited about a lot of things and a lot of changes in my life that have occurred. And with that being said, I want to go forward and I want to start over and I want to start new. Uh, also, by the way, since losing uh, Dexter, I have started a Etsy account and I do make like memorial photos of pets that have passed away. It doesn't have to be necessarily a pet or, or just a cat or just a dog or even if it's someone like one of your loved ones. But um, you know, that's something that I, I feel very passionate about is dogs and animals and, and I've always have. So, you know, losing them, I know it's really hard and it's a really difficult, difficult thing and you don't know that process unless you've gone through it. So I do have an Etsy account I will share with you guys. I do make pet memorial photos. So, um, and even if it's something that, even if it's your pet has it passed, or even if you just want a nice photo of your dog or your cat or your parrot or your bird or whatever it is, whatever pet you have, even people, uh, I'm so willing to um, help you in that aspect of leaving them with a good memory, leaving a good memory of them with you. Uh, that's one of the first things that I did when Dexter passed was I just wanted to remember him for the amazing, amazing dog that he was and still is and all the things that he's brought me and I just didn't want to think of him in such a sick state so I wanted to pay like um, a memorial to him and I'll show you the picture that I, I made for him on here in a second. Um, but yeah, so now I have a fresh start and now I can start over and now everything is kind of new and I have, I just want to get back into this whole crazy world of YouTube and I wanted to do a little bit of, I guess you can call it like an unboxing, I don't know what you children are calling it nowadays, unboxing, review, I don't know. I just want to share some things that I bought on, um, from two different companies. So the first one is House of Lashes and 
I love their glue. If you have never used House of Lashes glue, this is the time to get this glue. I have tried so many different types of glues. I have tried Duo, I have tried liquid glue, I have tried the black glue, the clear glue, cheap glue, expensive glue. This glue is seriously the best glue that you will ever try. It's House of Lashes. It uh, has a wand applicator. Like It looks like a lip gloss. So when you put it on, it has the applicator. It looks like a little wand like that. And you just have, so this glue is one of my favorite glues. It has a wand applicator. And it holds all day. You can be crying over your man or whatever and these lashes will stay put. They do not go anywhere. You just need like a very small thin um, application and they last all day. I uh, bought their lashes, Smoky Muse. I have not tried these yet. I have no idea like what to expect from these. I just kind of picked them out because I like that they were full. I also bought their Iconic Lashes, which is their like premium lashes. And for all of you makeup artists out there that don't know, they do have a pro discount program. So you can apply. You just have to like you know, do the whole pro, send your tear shoots and resume and whatever. Um, these are their premium lashes, they're $12, they're a little bit more on the pricier side, but they're supposed to be like a fake, like, mink, whatever, I don't even know what that's called, fake mink, but I haven't tried these, I haven't worn these. So I bought those two lashes, I bought the glue, and then one thing that I'm really excited about is I bought some of the new liquid lipsticks from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I am a huge, 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 huge fan of her lip liquid lipsticks. I'm wearing, um, this is not one of the new ones. This one is Soft Lilac. So it's, um, I've heard that it's a dupe for Jeffree Star doll parts. And I will say that this is probably one of my favorite lipsticks that I wear almost every single time that I want to put on a pink. This is usually the one that I go to. And I love it. And, um, I, this, these are the new ones. These are the new ones that they came out with. And I think there are, some of them are available. Some of them are sold out. But I purchased Crush. I purchased Catherine and I purchased Ashton and Dulce. So I did wear Dulce. I'm not like the, all of these other ones, with the exception of Dulce, I've, I have not tried. Um, Dulce is like a really pretty, um, I don't know what you would call this, like a pinky, like spring color. The, these were all meant to be released for their spring line springtime spring line and uh this one's dulce which is like a really pretty pinky sort of corally type color i wore that one these ones i have no idea of what they look like i have no clue i've only seen the pictures online so kind of excited to try them out for the first time and um this one is catherine and it looks like it is more of a like strawberry kind of color I'm horrible at swatching. I have like to come up with a better swatching method because I'm so like bad at that. This one looks like it's more of like a berry tint or like not a tint but just like a berry color. Like a strawberry color. It's really pretty. I'm excited to try that one. Uh, what else? Blah, 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 blah. This one's Ashton. And this one I think is probably like the most popular that I've seen on Instagram and all that stuff this one looks more like a nude this one let's show you the bottle it's like a nude color and this looks like a brown like a brown nude which is really really pretty too and then the last 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 one that I have here in the bunch is crush and I will say I'm a little scared because Crush looks kind of light, but we'll see. It almost looks like it can be similar to Pure Hollywood from them. Oh no, it's not. Not at all. Uh, it's not that light. I thought it was. So this one's Crush. Uh, focus, focus, focus. Okay, it's not focusing. It looks like that. And then here is the swatch. So 
I am pretty impressed with these colors. I do normally wear just like pink colors anyway. Like I'm more of like a pinky person. So I really like these. I'm really excited to try them out. So we'll see how those go with all my different makeup looks. Um, but yeah, those are the things that I wanted to share with you. Like the, the new, uh, I haven't opened, I was saving them just to open on camera. And I uh, will link you to my Etsy store for the pet memorials. I will link you to my patron saint of makeup um, Instagram. Like I do have been trying to like keep up with that. I uh, would also have that. I usually don't really update my patron saint of makeup Facebook. But uh, yeah, that's what's been going on with me for the past two years. I am back. And I hope that you like this swatching video and my eyelashes and my rants and well I wasn't really ranting but you know what I mean. I'm just happy like I'm trying to get back into like this whole YouTube like I forgot how to like talk on camera like I'm so like bad at that I realize like I have to get used to it. But um, yeah I hope you guys have a wonderful day and just know that you are um, one of a kind you're appreciated and don't ever let anyone tell you anything other than that and uh hope you guys have a good rest of the month and hopefully i will see you guys later bye, bye.